It reminds me of my dad. Why is that? He loved to ride. He rode his bicycle everywhere. He uh, he was kind of part of how it started. Um, not how it started, but after he passed away, it made me really want to do something a little bit different with my life. So, what's up, friends? I am in the heart of Fond du Lac. We are at the Sweet and Salty Pig. I'm here with the two owners, and they are going to tell you how, in the past two years, they have become a creative soul food hub in Southern Winnebago land. My dad just he ate, he would have eaten everything. He loved. He, there was nothing he didn't love about food. Well, my dad got diagnosed with uh, stage four kidney cancer in January, and he passed away March 12th. So it was really, it was very quick and sudden and horrible. But subsequently, my sisters and I um, inherited money that I wanted to actually do something worthy of him with. So my partner and I um, decided to open up a restaurant. We worked together for about 12 years at a different restaurant, and we were just, we felt like our creativity was very stifled there. And we just really wanted to do something unique. Um, and this building was open and available and the location is great, so we decided to go for it. Uh, we like to call it modern comfort food. So we do a lot of classics, but we do, uh, like, we call it the sweet and salty spin on them. For instance, we have a, one of our most popular brunch dishes would be our chicken and waffles. Um, but it's not just a regular waffle. We've come up with a recipe that has uh, beer and jalapenos, bacon, maple syrup, all inside the waffle. And then we have these fantastic breaded chicken tenders on top, and we top it with our house sausage gravy. Um, and it's not just any sausage gravy, it's, um, it's black pepper bacon sausage gravy. And then finally we found a local um, maple syrup um, provider up, it's north of Wausau a little bit and he um, ages his maple syrup in bourbon barrels. So then we put the bourbon barrel syrup on top too. So we do have a lot of gluten-free items in there set on the menu as gluten-free. We do a lot of dairy-free items for people and a lot of vegetarian items. Well, we post our specials every Tuesday for the whole week so that people can plan accordingly. We have a different daily special every day. And a lot of times we'll have a weekly appetizer or a weekly dinner special. But that's it. It's a one-time deal. Usually we have very rarely repeated any specials over the last two and a half years. We like to keep things kind of crazy and new all the time. We like to make, I mean, pretty much everything we make here is from scratch. So that's a lot of fun ways to get more flavors into it than just purchasing some sauce you know, and slapping it on a sandwich. We really get to, we cook all our own meats in house, um, you know, and make probably 99% of our sauces here too. The atmosphere here is, a lot of people call it cozy. Um, we've tried to really bring some unique artwork here. Um, not to make it like a farm feel, but it's, it's a little rustic, if you would say. And um, a lot of woodsy stuff, but just a lot of fun, unique things. Like there's, my favorite sign is the sign about the calories in the hallway. And someone can expect great service. Um, they'll be greeted right, right away. Our staff is very friendly and knowledgeable. Um, they'll expect great drinks from the bar. Um, our bar manager has a lot of great um, house cocktails that we like to make. And then great food as well. Um, followed by awesome dessert. We have a fantastic bakery case. Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how do we make one of our menu staples here, the brisket grilled cheese. Um, first I'm starting out with two pieces of brioche bread and I'm going to slather it up with our house bacon jam. So now I'm going to take some butter and put it on our flat top and get our bread nice and toasty. We're going to take our smoked gouda, put one on each side. And then our house cooked beef brisket. And I like to hit it with a little au jus just to keep it nice and juicy on the flat. We're gonna take some already sauteed mushrooms and put them right on this side of the bread. 
Then we're gonna put it right on top of the mushrooms, fold it up, and you have our most popular menu item, the brisket grilled cheese. We've always thought of ourselves as modern comfort food. And when we try to think of specials and different things to add to the menu, we just we want to really think outside the box. And for me, it's something that makes me go, ooh, that sounds good, you know? And that's something that I want the people to see on the menu or on the special of the day. You know, something different and unique and hopefully delicious as well. So the tots are crispy. I'm gonna give this brisket grilled cheese a shot. Looks, just feels fresh, crunchy, thick, heavy. Smells amazing. You've gotta be kidding me. This is so good. It's, you're biting through so much meat. It's got a great mouth feel. The cheese is melted. The meat is delicious. You really get that bacon jam. It's fantastic. And then at the end, you get this salty, buttery, uh, crescendo from from the amazing bread that they use. So obviously this is a this is a soul food spot in all respects. Uh, it's in Fond du Lac. If you're driving to Milwaukee, if you're driving up from Milwaukee, definitely check out the Sweet and Salty Pig. They've been around for two years, so there might even be some people in Fondy that that haven't been here yet. Definitely recommend you check them out. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Evan Frymuth. Please get out there and make the most of your day. There's so much to do, so much to see, so much to eat.